All right, today I'm gonna to put Skipjack up against a newer packaged bait. This is Dark Water Premium Baits. This is basically packaged silver carp. I don't know what they use. They probably use some kind of a salt mix to brine it or something. I do know this will catch catfish because Steve Douglas, the catfish dude, has actually used this bait and caught catfish with it. And I bought this from the Monster Rod Holders website. I'm sure there's other websites that sell this, so look around if they're out on the Monster Rod Holders website. Now I'm here at my favorite backwater area, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut these down to smaller pieces along with the skipjack. I'm gonna cut the skipjack down to small pieces as well. There's a lot of small catfish back here, and I've caught the bigger ones with small pieces. Now let's see how easy this is to open. It does have a little tab there so you can tear it. And uh, <laughs> that didn't, didn't do too well there. There we go. I saved this plastic to throw away at the ramp. It can be Ziploc too. So when I open this, I can close it back. Whew, what a smell. Uh, not bad. Let's see if I can catch fish with this. First thing I noticed while cutting this, it's really tough. So it should stay on the hook really well. And I am going to put this on my lucky battle cats. My Akuma battle cats. And then I'll put the skipjack on the team catfish rods. Wow, that skin is really tough. There you go, small piece on the hook. I am giving it an advantage by letting it out first, but we will see what happens. Another small piece. The water back here is, I don't know, four foot max in the little mini channel and right where i'm at right here is about a foot of water <laughs> i forgot i broke the sinker slide on this one i guess this will be near the boat i'm just going to leave it as is and free line it hey a cast i'll fix that later some of the bigger ones i have caught in the foot of water here now let me get the skipjack. Here's the skipjack I'm using. And you can see skipjack versus package bait. That might make a good thumbnail, I don't know. And I bought two packages of this stuff and it comes with a bag. So not only does this zip lock, I can also double zip lock it in here. Help keep it good, help keep the smell down. I'm keeping the skipjack pieces small too. First piece of skipjack. Second piece of skipjack. Third piece of skipjack. All right, let's see if I can catch something today. Oh, there we go. Yeah, he's still there. Think. Yeah, he's running over my other lines. <laughs> Come on.
<laughs> and uh, what is this? Skipjack? Yeah, Skipjack. Oh, it's not bad. Get this guy in the boat. It's been about 30 minutes. Oh, he's barely hooked too. Boat flipped. <laughs> Barely, barely hooked. Well, we got Skipjack 1 and the uh, Package Bait 0. Nice blue. Ow! He is biting down on me. Of course, Skipjack's going to catch a fish, right? And uh, I did cut my finger earlier, so I had to put a Band-Aid on it because it wouldn't stop bleeding. But, hey, it is uh, worth it. They get a fish in a boat in really shallow water. Cool. All right, I'm gonna let this guy go before he bites my thumb off. Ow! Let go. <laughs> and I get to reuse my bait. That small piece of skipjack caught a nice blue in this shallow water. here I was thinking about moving to the main river. I did mark a lot of fish on the main river, which I wanted to do because I have a guided trip next weekend. I may do what I'm doing today or start in the shallow water spot with them and then work my way out to the river and down the river towards the ramp. Although there's one spot where I marked an absolute monster that I might start at before coming here. It'd be nice to get a guest on a hundred pound blue. For now, I'm going to reset the clock and stay here probably another hour. Maybe I'll get another fish. It's been about 45 minutes, so I'm thinking about moving. But before I move, I'm gonna get another Team Catfish sinker slide on the one to the right. Because if I'm in the river, I wanna be able to put it on the bottom. The river is going to be 30 to 40 feet deep. Now this broke because the sinker got snagged. And that's kind of why I like these type of sinkers because if you snag the sinker, sometimes you can break that piece of plastic and get your hook and your leader line back. Anything to save a couple of dollars. Now I put the sinker slide on first. Then a bead. Then do a polymer knot. You basically you go through the eye, then back through the eye. So the eye can slide back and forth. I don't have enough line to show you this. There we go, that's enough line. You can see, it just slides freely. Whoops. Whoa, almost lost it. <laughs> then you take it, do an overhand knot, but don't close the overhand knot, so I got my finger in there to keep it from closing. Then I take the bait and hook and swivel and everything and put through the loop all the way to the eye. And you get that mess, you wet it. You wet it because it causes heat and you want the, the spit or the water or whatever to you know, keep it from damaging the line. And you just pull it all together and cut off the tag end. And there you go, the strongest fishing knot you can ever make. And then I put my four ounce 
river sinker on it. Get it back out there and maybe catch a fish. And this is the battle cat with the carp on it. I'm going to give this 10 to 15 more minutes and then I'm going to the river and try a river spot. I use bigger bait at the river spot. All right, it's time to move to the river. All right, I'm here at the river spot and I'm going to use bigger chunks of the carp. And put them on the battle cat. Not sure how I'm gonna hook this. Do wanna get it through the skin. I don't know how this is gonna work out. I'm gonna give it a try. I don't have much current here but I do see a lot of fish on the sonar. So maybe I'll be able to catch something if I can keep the boat under control. Another really big chunk. Nope. really deep water. Okay, I cut this thinner piece down a little bit. A little bit smaller piece. Now for the skipjack. The skipjack I'm using is kind of small. So I'm going to try to stretch it out. really need more current. I think there's current underwater. I may have to get out my drift sock. I don't know yet. I'll give this a try. Another piece of skipjack. It's not really that big. And the last piece of that small skipjack. All right, let's see if I can get a fish here. All right, I've been here quite a while and the current and the wind and the boats going by have me completely messed up. And I have not got a single bite from a fish yet. However, on a positive note, I have actually caught a fish on a poor day based on the Solinar calendar. Today is a really, really bad day to fish. So I guess I can use that as an accomplishment for today. Now I've had several people tell me that this has been a really, really weird fall. It's dry. We haven't had much rain and we have crazy high pressure all the time. Like today is probably a little bit on the high pressure side. I think my last like five videos have been during high pressure like this. And because I'm always bottom fishing, which is basically trophy fishing, I'm getting like one fish a video. We really need a lot of rain. We need a lot of clouds. That might help with a catfish bite, hopefully. Waves. Anyway, I think I'm going to reel these up, 
head to the ramp and go get some lunch. Hopefully, I won't end up snagged. I'm facing upriver right now instead of downriver, so I'm totally messed up here. Now, as always, I want to thank you for taking your time out of your day to watch my video. I really, really appreciate it. I really do hope things improve for my guests that I'm going to have on my boat next weekend. Thanks again for watching. I hope to see you next time.